I think it's fair to say we all have lots of paints, but how many paints do you actually need? Well, I don't know the answer to that, but today on The Hobby Grotto, I'm gonna show you five fantastic Citadel paints that are essential for every collection. First up, let's start with the big dog, Rhinox Hide. It's no secret that this is an incredibly useful and versatile paint. I've seen it come up on other people's lists before, don't worry. I can't even begin to think of the amount of different things I've used this paint for. Leather straps, dirt on bases, dark and grungy metallics. It's such a lovely rich brown, it's got excellent coverage, and it's great for mixing with so many different colors. As a tip, I especially like bone colors for mixing those highlights to create a more faded leather or wooden look, but so many browns work well with Rhinox. Now, surprisingly enough, I have two browns in my list of five paints, which is crazy, I know, but XV88 is such a useful paint, I just had to have it in here. I love using this as a base for skins and yellows. It's got a great tone for that, and really a lot of colors go very well over a base of XV88. One of the classics being bone or any other creamy whites. It's also great for highlighting all kinds of browns. This paint can really be viewed as Snakebite Leather's Prodigal Sun, and that cements it as a key paint for the collection. Next up is Caliban Green. I've mentioned before that green is my favorite color, so I just had to have one in here, and I had ample range to choose from, so it was a tough decision, but you just can't go past Caliban Green for a classic useful paint. In the days of yore, this color was putting in work as Dark Angel's Green, and it might be a little bit different now, but that doesn't change its place. I use this a lot as a base for many different greens, and even mixing it up with white, it produces a lovely jade green. Great color. While I'm on the subject of green, I have an honorable mention here in Cyberite Green. This is maybe my favorite of all the GW greens. It's not as flexible as the other paints I've mentioned here, but I wanted to give it a shout out anyway because it rocks. If you're painting yellow, you need Avalon Sunset in your toolbox. Of course, there are a variety of ways to paint yellow, but if you're going over dark colors, Avalon is really gonna help you to no end. We all know how annoying it is to paint yellow, but Avalon Sunset certainly lightens the burden with its excellent coverage and strong tone. I'm particularly fond of building it up over yellow browns like XV88, but for small areas, you can just put it on straight and it won't let you down. Even if you're not painting a lot of yellow, you're gonna find lots of uses for this paint, highly recommended. And now for the final paint, Nuln Oil, the greatest of all time. Its applications, truly endless. It makes all models look better. No, I'm just kidding. I couldn't put that one in here as much as I like it. Felt like a bit of a cop out in the final spot. I actually want to talk about corn red. Now, I don't use red as much as some other colors in my personal painting, but whenever I get to use the GW reds like corn red and Mephiston red, it's always such a pleasure. Excellent solid coverage, vibrant color. And I think corn red is the most useful because it's also an excellent base for lots of different things, whether you're painting a Space Marine Rhino or a Crazy Squeak. When it comes to Warhammer, red is a key color and corn red is not gonna let you down. So there you have it, five paints I highly recommend for any collection. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on The Hobby Grotto.